Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 12th, 2021. So today, ooh nice, we have Lapis Lazuli make a decision. Oh, look at the colors going on here. Whoa. Okay, so if this isn't about the third eye and the throat chakra, I don't know what is. All right. So Lapis Lazuli, make a decision. Sodalite, speak your truth. You have to commit to your truth. But what have I always said? Say it with me now. If you get the ego involved, you know, I don't know what's going to happen for you. It's going to be different for everybody, but, <laughs> but it's going to interfere. Okay. It's going to interfere. So this is a call for us to commit to trusting. Well, first of all, nurturing our intuition and then trusting it. Right. I just recently had an incident where, you know, I don't want to say too much here, but <laughs> I had an incident where something was presented to me. I had an instinct about it. I did not listen to my intuition because there was somebody else who was like counseling me and said, you know, hey, you should take this perspective when something like that happens. And so I'm trying to grow and, and be better. And so I ignored my intuition. And guess what? The very thing I picked up on that was probably going to happen ended up happening. And I, that's, that's a tough thing when it comes to our intuition, because, you know, we, we do want to grow and develop and you need feedback in order to do that. But in this case, I really needed to understand that I was being protected and that I needed to listen to that. Right? So the soda light can be really good, by the way. Oh, there's my little cabochon bag. Let me get that out of the frame. <laughs> All right. The soda light can be really good for writers. This is excellent energy for writing, get in there and do it. Whatever it is that you're trying to do, an article, a podcast, a YouTube video, a book, I don't know, pick something, journaling, right? A lot of, of really great information can come through writing today. So let this be a focus for you. This is, if you want to see this as a little assignment from the angels, there's some angelic energy coming in. There's going to be some really big truth that comes through for you and your intuitive hits. Again, if you, if you get the ego out of the way and you've been working with it, your intuitive hits are going to be on fire, man. I mean, they're going to be like, this is the direction I want to go in. And this is how I want to show up. And this is the energy I want to contribute or, or some huge spiritual breakthrough. Now, as I say, that sounds a little odd, doesn't it? And it is odd. It's a very human way of putting it because we perceive everything as an accomplishment, even our spiritual practice. But what this is really talking about is you might have a realization around what has been blocking you from opening your heart or having good self-esteem, like balanced self-esteem, or feeling like you can have abundance and prosperity and, you know, third dimensional ego consciousness comforts, you know, <laughs> you know, it's not a bad thing to have a nice house and a nice car and a relationship and whatever, you know, money in the bank. It's, it's not a bad thing. It's just, it's, it starts to become problematic when that is what is driving our life force. That is what's driving our choices. How many times comment down below if you've even done this, have you ever chosen a job over a soulmate connection? Hang with me on that one. Cause some of you might be like, what, what, what? That's like everything, you know, that's what we strive for. But people have walked away from divine love connections because there are expectations around their career. They're worried about their reputation because maybe they're, well, usually a divine love counterpart is the exact opposite. You know, I can't be seen with that person. I'm, you know, in this field and that person's in that field and we compete or we go against each other's views. <laughs> Funny how that works. So people have done that because they're afraid of, you know, how they're going to be perceived. So that's that kind of thing where we're misusing our intuition where, okay, yeah, you might be like, well, I'm supposed to be in this field, but can you balance that out with a deeper soul uh, lessons, the soul contract, you know, uh, making sure you can facilitate your healing enough that you can come together with the soulmates that you're supposed to be working with. Think of it as like a cast, a cast of characters, right? <laughs> who, who are the casts that, you know, you need to come together with. But 
when we get really hung up on that toxic conditioning that says, if you have this title, you've made it. If you have this amount of money, you've made it. If you're, you know, whatever. If some big company recognizes you, then you've made it. When we get hung up on that, we miss the deeper soul stuff that we're supposed to be doing. Don't allow that to happen. Do some writing today. Let that be your focus and see what comes up for you through your intuition. And this is definitely committing. This might be committing to a soul practice, a soul um, growth practice. Committing to opening your intuition. Uh, ego also comes, I'm talking to you practitioners out there, especially some, some that have been doing this for a very long time. Um, I want to, again, I want to be respectful here and be careful about what I'm saying, but there's certain places around the world where intuitives collect together and you always have somebody who is very set in their ways and they're just like, this is how it is. I know how to do this and it's all well and good. And what they do is beautiful, but there is growth to be had. There are different approaches. The, you can tell when somebody has like a very old school approach to channeling or, you know, mediumship or what have you. Oops, oops, oops. We will start expanding growing and all of us can benefit from this practice. All right. So we have, we have here, we have time, openness, see, be open to more growth. Oh, you can't see it because I'm blocking the light. There you go. Be open to more growth. Gabriel. <laughs> Guys, Gabriel's all about communication and how funny. I don't know why I got such a kick out of that. I mean, it's not that entertaining, I suppose. <laughs> Here we are. Passion and harmony. She's spinning. Okay. Uh, okay. Hold still. <laughs> harmony and openness. Look at this. Get in there and create. Write. Create a story. Create. Write fantasy novels. I don't care what you do. Just get in there and do something because there is power coming through your words messaging coming through giving birth to something that's the gabriel car or card <laughs> the cabochon here and finding a new passion there's some passionate communication that is occurring give it a chance to get on out there all right so we're going to leave it there guys i'm sending you all so much love and take care bye bye